Hey, good morning. Uh, this morning, I'm uh, taking my buddy here, Red Baron. I love this guy. I love this guy. Taking him to the vet. Um, he's had a little growth on his foot and a little bump on his head for, I don't know, about a little over a year. Um, I had taken him, he had another couple of things, a little gross, and I um, I brought him to the vet, but they accidentally missed him, and, and I love my vet. Um, great, great veterinarian, um, nice person, very kind with the animals, very kind with people, um, but he missed it, and he said, hey, you know, bring him back in, and, and I apologize, I, I missed it, um, but... It seemed like it, it took Red Baron a little bit more time than usual to kind of recover. The, the first few days after being sedated, he was crying and, and stuff, and I didn't want to put him through him through it. And uh, I really don't want to put him through it today. Um, but the growth on his foot has gotten a little bit bigger, and the bump on his head's a little bit bigger, and you know. He's an older dog, so it's, you know, anyone with a dog, you know there's a little bit of a risk. So I'm bringing him in with the intentions of the, the vet putting him under, pro hopefully a light sedation um, to, to, to kind of remove these things and, you know, give him a little comfort because he especially licks his, licks his paw where the one is. Right, Red? Um, but it's, as I drive there, I have these, the doubts like, you know, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? And I don't want anything to happen to my buddy here. I love you, Red Baron. I love you, buddy. I love you. Red's, uh, he's scared every time he, he goes to the vet, literally as we get out of the car, he starts to shake and. Um, we have to give him a little shot in the butt to calm him down. Um, and we usually muzzle him because when a dog is scared, they may, may react um, and they may bite. So I hate it because he's an older guy and he's, he's sweet with me. But there are times where he gets into his moods where he goes into the kennel and he won't come out or he goes under the bed and I need him to go outside because I'm late for work or court or something. And he gets into his stubborn ways. But um, I used to be like, ah, Red, come on, buddy, you know. And now I realize that just the voice, my, the tone of my voice, um, <laughs> probably not make him come out. So I'm like, all right, Red. All right, buddy, you want to hang out under the bed? Okay, what do you want to do? Yeah, I got some cookies. You want to come outside? You want to go for a walk? Right? So, it's funny. I, like, uh, I think he saw the leash and instead of being excited, because I guess he saw me working on the car, um, putting the seat up and stuff like that. He's probably like, I'm going for a ride. And there's a part of him that's excited, but I don't know. I don't know how long, how good his long-term memory is. There's a part of him that's like, oh, come on, dad. I don't want to go to that, that vet. They're going to give me that needle and, and, you know, poke my butt. And then, you know, and it's, it's difficult. I even struggle clipping his nails. He'll growl. And, and I know your dog should never growl at you and this and that, but it's almost like, oh, come on, like, I don't, <laughs> come on, dad, I don't want to bite you, dad, just come on, let, let my nails grow as long as they can grow. <laughs> um, but I love them, I love all my dogs, um, always been a, a dog person, first dog I can remember is Benji. And uh, a long line of dogs that I've always kept from the day I adopted them to their last day on, on Earth. 
anyway, I'm nervous. I'll see you.